Grantala Productions present Starring Who Knows The Murderer Boys and Girls A scary story It's about murder And killing people If you do not like blood Please do not watch And here ah, Who's coming there? I can see somebody arriving. Is it one of the leaders? And here you can see, of course, Mr. Fantasy explaining and introducing the, the leaders. Here is Peter and I am the boor. And here one of my lovely girls, Monique Callanus, always sliding down the pole. But who follows her? <coughs> what has been done? Yuck. Blood. Blood. But I must tell you, boys and girls, we are very fortunate because one of the children at the country club, his name is John. Perhaps you can see him, yes, here he comes. He likes to be detective. And he's looking if the girl is dead. She is dead. Nothing can be done there. But he can look for clues. And that's what he does because John wants to be a detective. What's that? What's that? Somebody could have climbed up there and pushed her down. Hello, Debbie Conway. Say hello. Ooh. Hello. Wasn't she a lovely girl? Wasn't she? And what's happening here? Morning tea. But the murderer is putting poison in the drinking cups. Nobody knows anything about it. And the leaders say, come on. Stephen, Rodney, Anne and Peter. And everybody's enjoying it. A lovely drink again. Very much better than Happy Eight. What has happened? Poison! Everybody is dead. You notice the boy picking up something? John again. <laughs> he smells. There must be a reason for all these killings. Look! That smells like poison. If you don't like blood, don't look. A knife. It's Tony Meadows. I don't have to explain anything. I know it is tomato sauce, but please don't tell anybody. Just pretend it is blood. 
Here are the Salaji boys who go to Wesley College, two very nice boys, and they say what we have to do is call the leader. And Stephen was still asleep. So the best thing is wake him up. Stephen Torbert, a wonderful leader, always sleeps with his teddy bear. Can you see his teddy? Oh, he says, that's enough. And off they go to collect the horses. Come in, boys and girls. Please be careful when you take the horses, always on the side of the road. But look how they brought them back. Arrows. Dead riders. Ugh. Hey, rest us. And there is Steffi, how beautiful. Oh, you should know what has happened. Rodney asked, what's the matter? What has happened? Yes, that's John. He says, come, Stephen. I must talk to you in private. I think I've got an idea. You know, you know I want to be a detective. First, I found a hanky. Then, you remember when the boys were poisoned? I collected it. And then the strangle. I think the finger marks are exactly the same. <sighs> Who is watching? Who is watching? He knows too much. He will be the next. John the detective. And while the leaders are talking at night, making up the program, something strange happened. Something strange happened. Look, boys and girls, watch the door. Isn't there somebody walking past? Vincent, what do you think it is? Suffocating? Yes. Yes, I think so too. This time there won't be any blood. It is worse. Do you think he's dead? Yeah. You think so? I think you're wrong, Vincent. Because look, he's <coughs> oh, a big struggle, and boys and girls, will he make it? Will he make it? Uh, his last ear comes. And there is Stephen again, with his lovely teddy bear. And Stephen thinks, let me wake up first today, so I can wake up the boys. Good morning, Stephen. Time to get up, come on. Good morning, Teddy. Come on, Stephen, get up now. Stephen Torbert with his famous pyjamas. He's worn them here for four years. They've dropped about 25 times because the elastic is too wide. And every time Stephen says, I'll fix it for next holiday. Come on, boys, wake up. Everybody up. What are they doing, Vincent? Waking somebody up. He must be sound asleep, isn't he? Yes. Yes, he looks as though he's asleep. Ugh. He is asleep. But his face looks most peculiar. Oh, Mrs. Wonders, I hope that will never happen at Nomura. At Namora, things like that don't happen. 
But here... Boys and girls, please don't be scared. You know it is only a story. But just pretend it is real. Because he's a delightful boy and he's not really dead. But have a look at his face. Doesn't he act well? Hey, that here looks familiar. I can see little Marcel there. And that is you, Vincent, at the back. Can you see yourself? Mm -hmm. You can't. Well, have a good look. I'll tell you when. Who is that? That's Marcel, and that's you. Can you see it? Oh, boys and girls! The murderer has escaped! She has been recognized! So she goes one way, missed! The other way, missed! Oh, only one way out! Bang! Ah! Boom! And that is the last we have seen of the murderer. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for your attention.